We're going to be taking you around New Hampshire on a summer road trip. If you're new here, we're Giselle and Steven. We're taking you on a new bucket list adventure every single month for this entire year. We're in the Great North Woods right now, but we're also going to be taking you through the White Mountains. It is such a beautiful road trip. I'm excited to take you along. How do you even get here? We started down in Boston. That's where we flew in, but you can also fly into Manchester, Boston. Those are probably the two best airports if you're planning on doing a New Hampshire road trip. For us, we rented a car through there, and we've been road tripping the entire way up. Ah! How long would we recommend? We would probably recommend between three and four days, all the way up to a week, depending on how much stuff you want to do. We're going whitewater rafting. We've been hiking to all of the best waterfalls in New Hampshire. We want to make sure we had enough time to explore the Great North Woods of in about two to three days, as well as exploring the White Mountains District for two to three days. So we've been here for five days. You can go longer, you can go shorter. We've been on the go from sunrise until sunset most days. So we've been covering a lot of ground. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So one of the biggest things to know about traveling around New Hampshire, especially for a summer road trip, is to download all of your maps and your trail data in advance. You will not get any service out here in certain parts of the state, especially in the White Mountains. We're here in Crawford Notch State Park area and you get zilch. You have to drive for at least like 20 minutes to go out and get some cell signal. So just keep that in mind. If you guys are planning to meet up with anyone, make sure you guys have the same plan. We've run into that before in fall where we're all trying to meet up in a spot, but we all don't have cell signal. So you kind of just got to make a plan for that in advance and you'll be good to go. When you're in New Hampshire, we highly recommend trying to go to places earlier. Like this brewery, for instance, is closing at 7 p.m., which is very, very early for most breweries. And we would also highly recommend looking up places and if they're open. We tried going to like four different places right now, and it is a Tuesday. Nothing is open in New Hampshire on like Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It's only open Thursday to Sunday. So make sure you look up the spots and kind of figure out where you want to eat beforehand, because it seems to be slim pickings, depending on where you're at in the state. But right now, we're gonna go check out Sea Dog Brewing. Finally found a spot that's open, let's go. One other thing to know is about parking fees. You're gonna find a lot of parking fees around New Hampshire, so it's really ideal to have a ton of cash or check uh, with you at all times. So when you're parking in these parking lots, you can just put them in the little slip and put them in the little drop-off bins. So we have been staying at Lumen Nature Retreats. This is different than where we stayed last time in the fall. Last time we based ourselves out of Conway, which is the other side of the Kank. This time we're basing ourselves out of, it's right next to Lincoln and we're in technically in Woodstock. This is another great central location, especially for summer adventures, even fall adventures. And we've absolutely loved our stay here at Lumen Nature Retreats. We found this place on Instagram and it has everything from these cute little cabins to safari tents to these cute little a-frame tents but we've absolutely loved it so let me show you around real quick out here we have our little fire pit area it comes with two chairs and a solo stove it looks like every single one of these sites had some sort of setup like this so you guys can have campfires here they sell wood for your campfires right when you walk in it's about ten dollars a bundle you can probably find it cheaper in town though and then we picked a site right next to the little brook and river here and it was so nice and relaxing you get to listen to the river right when you wake up super cute and a lot of these cabins are facing this river so this cabin fits three to four people, depending on how big they are. Probably like two, uh, two adults, two kids. And it's absolutely so cute. It's styled after a Danish kind of cabin. They come with all the cookware that you could possibly need. Has a fridge, trash. They come with like all the cooking utensils and things so you don't have to worry about it. So if you wanna bring groceries and cook here, you totally can do that. That'll help keep your costs down a little bit. Plus, as you guys know about the restaurants here, slim pickings on the weekdays if you're not staying on a weekend. So good if you wanna cook here during the week. Then we also have an indoor fireplace up here. It comes with a speaker, a lantern, some books. Super cute. We've really enjoyed our stay. It's been so relaxing just to sleep in and take in the river and the scenery around here. And the coolest thing is, although there's not any bathrooms and things in our stay here, there's a whole little communal area over there where you, there's a water fill up station, place for you to do dishes, uh, communal bathrooms that are actually very nice with showers, toilets, makeup remover, et cetera, whatever you can need. A little space for cornhole, group campfire area, and a sauna. So that's really nice. You can sign up 
to have a private reservation slot for your sauna with your booking here. So we did that, it was super fun, highly recommend. We just got here to the Lost River Gorge. This is one of the more famous gorges here and we do recommend you make advanced reservations. We are here on a Monday, so luckily we have it almost all to ourselves. But when you guys do come, it can get really, really busy here on the weekends. You can make your reservations online. It's $23 per person, but in our opinion, it's gonna be totally worth it. It reminds me a lot of Flume Gorge. If you guys missed our last New Hampshire video, uh, we went there and we're gonna hit there again tomorrow to see what it's like in a different season. But it's this beautiful gorge filled with waterfalls and caves all along this boardwalk that's about a mile long and there's probably almost around 10 to 20 caves that you can go in and explore and I think that's the coolest thing about this park is we've been to a ton of different cool caves all over the U.S. but none of them give you the freedom and flexibility to really go in explore get hands-on in the caves without some sort of guide or tour and so it's really cool that you can go in and, and every single one of these caves like this one you have to duck in through an opening below and then crawl all the way through and then climb out a ladder so that's kind of the vibe of all the different caves here. Our favorite part of the entire trip was definitely stopping at Paradise Falls. Check out some of these pictures. It was so much fun to be able to just hang out. We had it basically all to ourselves. There's a bunch of different viewpoints. That area actually got completely washed out back in the 1980s from a massive hurricane. So it's pretty cool to learn the history. It's very well informed the entire area. Probably one of my new favorite things I've seen so far in New Hampshire. Highly recommend it for families too with kids above 12. But yeah, it's really cool. We're here on a Monday and there's no one here in the afternoon so really cool spot in New Hampshire definitely recommend for a summer road trip out here in this beautiful state we have made it over to Flume Gorge it's an iconic part of the White Mountains in Franconia Notch State Park we came back here last time we came in fall and it's, it looks about the same we were here a little early last time so we're gonna go check it out we got a covered bridge over here there's lots of covered bridges around New Hampshire they were known for privacy and they were kind of called like kissing bridges because they were all dark and you could sneak off under them. So lots of them around here to explore. We're gonna go take a look into the flume. It's about a two mile loop and let's go on an adventure. I'm going to argue that this place is just as busy, if not busier than it was in the fall. We are here on a weekday. We're at, what is it, Wednesday? It's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Fun thing to remember is that schools come here on um, field trips. So there are hundreds of little children here right now. Hundreds, if Which not is thousands. cool, great for the schools. But I would say if you're trying to have it a little more peace and quiet, come right at the 9 a.m. time slot when this place opens, towards the end of the day or early in the day. Not, like we only came an hour in. We got here at 10 a.m. and it's, it's packed. So definitely recommend just get here at the right time. We're here at Arethusa Falls right now. It's a beautiful 2.8 mile trek, but it is not for the faint of heart. You're gonna go up about 950 feet in that first 1.4 miles on the way up. We are about to cruise back down. When you park, it is a $5 parking fee. It's right in Crawford Notch in New Hampshire. This is one of the main waterfalls that you're gonna see, and it's actually the tallest waterfall in all of the White Mountains. So we're super stoked to hang out here. There's only about four other people here, and we are here on a Tuesday afternoon. We would highly recommend when you come to make sure that you wear bring good footwear though, because there are tons of rocks, lots and lots of squishy ground, especially if it's raining like it is today. Come prepared, but it is definitely a spot that you're gonna wanna add to your New Hampshire road trip. Pinkham Notch State Park and we are hiking up Crystal Cascade Waterfall. It's a 0.7 mile round trip hike, about 10 minutes each way, super easy. Highly recommend for all different hiking levels. Two things you do wanna know. One, there are so many mosquitoes here in June. So like if you see me slapping them away, that's why. There are a ton, so wear bug spray. Two is you'll get a little misty. You might wanna bring a rain fly or rain jacket just cause you will get a little wet from the falls. But this is a bang for your back waterfall, super cool. Really low effort in terms of hiking to get here and you should definitely add it on your road trip itinerary for summer in New Hampshire. We've made it one minute down the road from Crystal Cascades to Glen Ellis Falls. It's a 0.4 mile round trip hike, super short. About 100 or so of these like stone stairs, but it's a very easy, quick hike. Really nice waterfall. It's more of a skinny little gushing guy than a cascading wide one like the past couple ones we've been to. Really stunning, right down the street. Highly recommend checking it out if you're already in the Pinkham Notch in Mount Washington areas. 
And it's the same as the other ones. You have to either have an interagency pass or pay $5 recreation fee for parking. But it's right across the road and definitely recommend it if you have time. We're now out here in the Great North Woods. It's about a two hour drive from the White Mountains and we're out on Lake Francis. It's a beautiful man-made lake. One of the biggest ones up here in this region. And we're canoeing. We rented a canoe from the visitor center. It's only about 15 bucks for an hour. So that's kind of fun. There's also paddleboard, kayak, all those type of rentals in the area as well. But it's a good way to kick it off. We are like the only people out on this lake, which is crazy. And most of the people apparently that visit New Hampshire don't even come up to this region according to our guide in the visitor center. So pretty cool that we get to experience this. I'm gonna take you on a few more adventures. We're gonna go check into our next spot at the Tall Timber Lodge after this, where we're gonna make our base camp the next few days. And then we're gonna hopefully head out for a sunset. It does kind of look like it could get some thunderstorms up here, but we'll see how that goes. And then head over to Moose Alley and hopefully spot some moose. Right after that, as we were heading up to Moose Alley, you pass by Connecticut Lake one, two, and three. They don't have different names, they're just named by their number. And in our opinion, Connecticut Lake number two was the most beautiful. We stopped, flew our drone for a little bit, hung out and enjoyed the views. There were a lot of mosquitoes there during that time period. So if you do go and go out on a boat or go out on a canoe, make sure you bring enough bug spray to protect yourself. It was beautiful though. If we had more time, we would definitely go and check out Connecticut Lake one and three as well. But it's a great spot to stop right before dusk on your way out to see the mooses in Moose Alley. So we'd highly recommend checking it out as well if you have the extra time in New Hampshire. One of our favorite spots that we went to in New Hampshire was Beaver Brook Falls. This is a perfect spot for a picnic, morning brunch, if you just are on your way up to, nor to the Northern Woods area and you wanna take a stop, this area is stunning. It's a beautiful waterfall, it's really easy to get to. It's maybe a three to five minute walk off the road. There's bathrooms there, there's picnic tables, and you have this stunning waterfall directly in front of you. It doesn't let you get up too high on it. It's unsafe to kind of scale the rocks, especially if you're there during spring but we got to enjoy from the very bottom there's some beautiful views you can get and it's really easy stop on the way up to the great north woods so we would highly recommend checking it out another really fun thing to do in the great north woods region is to go white water rafting and there's some really nice class two to three rapids right in the great north woods we went out with north woods rafting and had such a great time it was about a half day kind of excursion we got to go down the river like three times four times and what was nice is we got to do it in both rafts or you could go out in the kayaks which is definitely for more of the brave of heart that don't mind getting absolutely soaked but both were so much fun we highly recommend it the team with Northwoods rafting was so much fun and then you got a little lunch afterwards which was very nice and appreciated because like we said restaurant situation in New Hampshire is not always ideal on the weekdays while you're over there too another option that you could do is check out Umbagog State Park and Wildlife Refuge which is right next to where you'd go rafting that's another good spot to potentially see a moose. One of our top favorite trails, probably our most favorite trail in all of New Hampshire, is up in the Great North Woods and it's called the Table Rock Trail. Now we had done this trail probably three or four times in fall of 2021 and we got clouded out every single time. Uh, this area is right next to Dixfield Notch State Park and it is absolutely stunning for fall colors but it's equally as beautiful in the summertime. You get high up on this beautiful rock that overlooks this gorgeous gorgeous lake down below and it's absolutely stunning and it's about 1.5 miles out and back and it has an elevation gain of about 770 feet. It is quite steep for it being a pretty short hike so just know that in advance. It's pretty rocky and slippery as well so make sure you're wearing good hiking shoes. Some people might find trekking poles helpful. Also to note, if you have a fear of heights, you might not want to go all the way out on the actual table rock because there is quite a bit of a drop on either side, but it is an absolutely epic viewpoint. We hope you enjoyed this video on our summer road trip through New Hampshire. It has some of the best waterfalls, amazing mountains to explore, some beautiful hikes. If you're into fishing or kayaking or canoeing, it, they have so much for you to do here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. If you want to see our fall road trip through New Hampshire, you can check the description and with that we will see you guys out there on the next adventure. <laughs>